even know his name. He possessed great skills. <laughs> Stick around. Hey, what's up guys? Sam here, Contagious Collection, back with another video. Welcome to my channel, welcome to the game room, back with another one. Uh, very excited for this uh, video. I was actually tagged in a uh, video by the game room. And uh, it's about uh, 10 questions about being a gamer. So uh, I watched this video. I wish I knew about it earlier, but I always check every day uh, just to see if I got comments on my videos and stuff like that. And I checked into the in the mentions area where I was actually tagged in a video and I watched the video. I had no idea. And uh, the game room actually shouted me out and uh, tagged me in this video. And uh, I watched it. I thought it was a great concept. It was very interesting. So I was like, yeah, why not, man? I had some time today and I was like, uh, I'm going to write down the questions. I wrote it down on a piece of paper. And uh, I'm going to answer these questions. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Sit back, relax, grab your favorite drinks and snacks, and uh, you guys already know the drill. Uh, I'm going to get right into it without any further ado. And again, the game room, uh, thank you very much, my friend, for shouting out my channel and mentioning me and tagging me into this. Uh, I think it's, it's a really great thing where you get the YouTube community together and... I'm going to do the same thing. Again, it's optional. No one's obligated. I'm going to shout out two uh, YouTubers just like he did. So it's kind of like a pass along challenge kind of thing. And uh, you guys don't have to do it, obviously. I'm going to, at the end of the video, I'll be uh, mentioning two YouTubers. So, uh, and keep this uh, ball in motion. Keep it, uh, keep it rolling. I think it, it'll, it'll be fun. So... Uh, I'm going to get right into it. So it's uh, 20, 10 questions about being a gamer. Uh, question number one is what type of video games do you like to play? I absolutely love to play. Uh, I rephrased the question a little bit. Like to play, love to play, same thing. But uh, yeah, uh, I absolutely love to play beat-em-ups. I love action RPGs. Uh, Metroidvanias, action platformers, shooters as far as quote-unquote shmups. Uh, third person shooters, first person shooters, uh, I'm very picky with games, but off the top of my head, uh, just to think about what I like to play, those are it, but recently, I've been really into Metroidvanias, um, I'm, majority of the time, I am playing action platformers or beat-em-ups and stuff like that, I like to switch it up every now and then, it depends, sometimes I go out of the box and try to, uh, you know, try out something new, but, if I have to go to that, that that's my go-to style of games. Um, really into the you know the Resident Evils and the Contras and the Castlevanias and stuff like that. Uh, as far as like action RPGs go, you know, like what goes comes to the, on my uh, you know uh, off the top of my head, I would have to say Kingdom Hearts, um, Dark Cloud and stuff like that. You know, just. Uh, uh, platformers you can't go wrong with it like uh, marios and kirby's and stuff like that uh yeah i have to say those are the type of uh, games that i really like to play so uh, question number two is how much time on average do you spend playing video games i really don't specifically keep a time but again the question is on average on average, I will have to say, if it's a game like, uh, for instance, yes, yesterday, for example, I started playing Horizon Zero Dawn, and I put in a good few hours, uh, because it really pulled me in. I had played it about like a year ago. So on average, I'm going to have to say one to three hours. I'll put it in between that gap, one to three hours on average. If I'm going to play a game and I'm really into it, um, yeah, on average, I will say that. But then again, it could be where I'm not playing video games every single day. I have work. I'm doing work stuff. Um, I like to watch movies. I'm really big into movies and movie show and, and uh, TV shows and stuff like that. Um, uh, there's other hobbies I have. I love to collect sneakers. I'm always watching like YouTube videos on sneakers and stuff like that. Uh, custom paint jobs or whatever. Just to switch it up and not to do the same thing every single day, obviously. I'm really into like uh, uh, hip hop music. I, I listen to music a lot. So I'm not constantly playing like video games. But on average, if I were to play, uh, 
I would say one to three hours. We'll just leave it at that. Uh, question number three is, do you think video games can be educational? Uh, I think so, yeah, absolutely. I think they can be, especially in newer games where a lot of stuff where it's like voice acted and you have like subtitles and you're reading. And I think uh, knowledge, knowledge is power, man. Uh, reading can be very educational. It could be a lot of games where uh, you're looking through like books and you have to actually like read the stuff in their files and things like that. Uh, even besides that, where it could be something that where it could be like a very highly controversial game and people could be against it. Put the bad thing aside, take the good things, you know. It could be where it's probably like a story where obviously it's it's not real, but it's it could be obviously like a written made up story, just like movies are. But a lot of things can be taken out of a person's lives or it could be inspirational or motivated by that. So take the good, put the bad aside. And uh, I have to say, yes, they can be educational. Video games can be educational. Yes, I will say yes to that question. Uh, what don't you like about video games? Being stuck on a video game. One of my biggest pet peeves. Uh, especially, again, if it's like a game that I'm really into when I'm having a blast playing it and I'm like getting into it and having fun. And it could be a part where you're like stuck and you know you don't know where to go. That is uh, uh, one thing that I do not like about video games. Being stuck while you're playing it and you're just that... The funness of it just like kind of like goes, eh, you know, it just that it really irritates me when I get stuck in a game that that uh, one thing that, uh, you know, comes to mind is that um, getting stuck in a video game. I, I can't stand that. Uh, anyway, uh, next question. Question number five is how much do you spend on video games? Um, it all depends, man. It, it really depends because. And I think it varies from time to time. Uh, a few years ago, I would spend probably a hundred bucks or less and get like top-notch titles, man. Like from garage sales and uh, you know thrift stores and 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 uh, flea markets and stuff like that. Nowadays, that's not the case. And a lot of the games where I have to go, I go to like uh, video game events and stuff like that, and you're gonna pay a lot more. And because everybody knows what they have, so it's basically like eBay priced. It just depends. So on average, I will probably have to say like a hundred bucks or more. Uh, if if I'm getting like a few games, I'm trying to cut down. Not to say to cut down, but I don't want to like blow all my money on video games. Obviously, because there's other things that I'm into that I want to buy, and obviously you have bills and things to pay. So it it, it all depends. I mean, I can't put like a set price. How much I s spend on video games, but I'm not a cheap person and I don't cheap out. If it's like, let's say, for example, and I have the money, obviously, uh, if it's like a $300 game, for example, just spitballing. Um, and if I'm going to pay 150 bucks to 200, I'll definitely do that if I have it to spare to spend it. Uh, just an example on that part right there. But again, it just it all depends. It all depends um, on average. I don't know. It it, uh, it all depends. Because, again, like I said, it could vary from time to time where it could be over a hundred time, a hundred bucks or more, maybe, on a certain a video pick, a video game pickups video that I do. It could be less than that. It could be, it, 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 it fluctuates. It, it uh, you never know. You never know on that so i can't put a set price on that i don't know exactly i, I don't know uh what that on that answer but anyway again well the answer would be it just depends i'll just leave it at that uh question number six is what's your favorite game console majority of my gaming if i'm playing video games is on home consoles i will say 90 plus percent of it um because I just like to hold that controller in my hand. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong. I love my uh, handhelds too, man. 
like especially the PSP, for example, uh, or the Nintendo DS, the Neo Geo Color, it just depends. But majority of the time, I'm playing on a home console on a big screen TV. Well, big screen being the TV that I have is like a 32-inch screen TV in my in my room, in my game room. But it has to be on a bigger console. I just prefer that controller in my hand. And that's just the way it is. But if I have to pick one, I will have to say the PlayStation 2. That being is because the library of games is so vast, is ridiculously huge, where there's so many different genres of games, and you can't go wrong with it. So if I have to pick one, I have to say the PlayStation 2 for sure. Uh, question number seven is, what is your favorite video game? This bad boy right here, Blood Will Tell. And the reason being this, uh, in recent in, in, uh, videos before, I will probably have to go with uh, Resident Evil. But if I have to pick one, since the question is, what is your favorite video game? I'm going to have to say Blood Will Tell, man. And again, I'm not the one to talk about prices on video games. Um, I'm going to say that this game I had been looking out for many, 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 many years. And with what's going on nowadays with video games, everything is just skyrocketing with prices. And it's going to get even more expensive, I said. And I saw it on an auction. I ended up winning the auction. I don't know how long ago was this, but um, exactly, I don't remember off the top of my head, but... Blood Will Tell, man, what an amazing game. Phenomenal, phenomenal game. Fantastic. I can't say a uh, good... I mean, there's so much about this. Everything about it is amazing. The gameplay is fun. I understand it is an expensive game, but the game is an actual really good game. And it's like very sought after, very... Uh, uh, by collectors and gamers, man, it's it's just such a great game. The boss battles are super fun. Uh, you're missing like 48 body parts or something like that in the game. And you have to go one by one and, and get those body parts back. And you have like a, a sword on an arm. You have like guns that, you know, legs that shoot out uh, missiles and, and machine guns. It's crazy, man. It's so good. Uh, I'd imagine if this game were to get a remake... Uh, what it would be, but for PlayStation 2 standards, phenomenal, amazing game. So if I have to pick one um, out of all my collection, uh, I'm probably going to have to, yeah, not probably, definitely, Blood Will Tell. And that says a lot, man. There's I have a lot of really good games in my collection, and a lot of you would agree. There's so many things, and, and especially me being a, a very picky uh, person with games, and uh, I don't collect, I've said this a lot before, I don't collect just to be collecting. It has to be a certain specific game that catches my attention, that sparks my interest, that I'm going to be into it and, and play and have a good time with it. And that's what it's about. Anyway, so that will be that. Blood will tell. Uh, I believe that was uh, question number seven. Uh, question number eight is, what's your favorite video game movie I have come prepared? Yes, and I had it next to me. My favorite video game movie has to be The Wizard, man. Uh, with Fred Savage uh, being, I think, uh, well, he's one of the lead actors. And uh, this is such a nostalgic movie for me. I remember watching this all the time on VHS when I was a kid. And I believe this came out in... Um, was it 1989? Yeah, 1989. 1989. And it's about video games. Basically, the, the whole concept of the movie is about video games. And it's just something about it where uh, the kid in the middle with the sunglasses, which is Jimmy. Um, I don't know his real name or his, his uh, the character name in the movie. His name is Jimmy. He's... Uh, Long story short, he's been through like a, a huge trauma in life as a kid, which is it's a big thing. He lost his sister, I believe, and uh, his sister passed away. And the kid took it like really badly. And he's not being able to function correctly and stuff like that. Not to 
say it in a bad way or anything like that, but um, it 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 mess messed him up inside, like psychologically. That is damaging, man. It's really bad, especially for a kid. And um, anyway, long story short, he tries to run away with his uh, brother, half brother, I think, with uh, Fred Savage. And uh, they go in like a, I think it was, it's like a hostess truck or a, something like that. And they go from a, a different state to state to state, trying to like, uh, you know, collect money and hustle and stuff like that to get money. So they could go to like the, I think it's in LA and like Universal Studios or something like that, where it's like a video game convention. And they come across like, you know, hiccups across the way where the movie has to be interesting. But um, there's Double Dragon. There's like they're playing the, in one of the arcades. They're playing Double Dragon in it. And then there's like a, a Mario 3, I think, is in there. And so many different games. A TMNT on the NES. And um, it's such a great game, man. Uh, such a great movie. And this has to be, hands down, my favorite uh, video game movie, without a doubt. And there's a lot of other games that I love, too. Um, on the, a lot of other movies that are... A video game based that I love, but if I have to pick one, it has to be The Wizard. So that's the answer for my eighth, eighth question on that one. Um, question number nine is who's your favorite video game character? Favorite video game character. Oh, I don't know, man. That's a tough one. I don't know what what would come. Like, there's there's so many different video games that I love, but as far as like uh, my favorite video game character, hmm, hopefully I'll stand out with this one, and I'll just say just whatever, uh, pops, you know, and, and pops in my head right now is coming off as, uh, I will have to say probably, uh, Torque, the prehistoric punk, I'll, I'll name it that just to stand out, hopefully, and, and be unique, and uh, that game is amazing as well. So as far as that character, Torque, the prehistoric punk, and it's an original uh, exclusive Xbox game character. And and because uh, the game itself is amazing, is, is one of my favorite games, hands down, without a doubt. And uh, if I have to pick one that, you know... Uh, comes to mind right now is uh yeah torque the prehistoric punk i'll just say that as that being my favorite uh video game character and last but definitely not least uh question number 10 is what's your least favorite type of game point and click adventure games point and click games i'm not into it i won't play it haven't played it it just i, I can't stand point and click games my least favorite type of game has to be point and click. Uh, can't stand it. Uh, just or or um, I mean, it could be amazing for other gamers. Don't get me wrong. I'm not knocking it or anything like that or trying to put it down. But these are personal questions that I'm answering. And my least favorite would be a point and click or games that are like novels. I just I can't stand that. It's just not for me at all. Um. If I'm going to play a video game, I'm going to actually play it. So, I can, least favorite two that come to mind would be uh, point-and-click games and, and novel games where you're just sitting there and just reading. It's not my thing. It's not my cup of tea. Uh, every To each his own, as they say. Everybody has their own preference. But least favorite will have to be... Uh, I'm putting it into like a two-part answer. Uh Point and click games, least favorite, and uh, yeah, the the novel games where you're just like reading stuff, and there's no video game playing taking part or anything like that. But anyway, um, that was it. Again, thank you very much for uh watching uh to the the game room. Thanks a lot, my friend. Uh, again, uh, I really appreciated that you actually shouted on my channel and tagged me in the video. And again. Uh, no one's obligated, uh, you don't have to make a video, but again, it is kind of like a challenge thing where I have to pass it on to two other uh, YouTubers, and uh, I'm going to be shouting out, and if you guys like to participate in this challenge and answer these questions, go for it, if not, it's all good, man, 
Uh, two YouTubers I'm going to be shouting out is mainly Retro and uh, Dad Racer. Uh, so those are the two that I will be uh, passing this challenge on to. Again, you guys don't have to do it if you want to. Hey, man, I would love to see what you guys uh, would uh, you know answer as far as these questions go. But that is it, guys. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And uh, hope you guys all have a fantastic day. Take care. Hasta la vista, baby.